Pretty awesome, right? Screen mirroring your iPhone, any iPhone by the way, to your TV. In this tutorial, I'm gonna teach you how, how you can do screen mirroring from your iPhone to your TV completely free. No third party apps, it's wireless as well. It's really HD as well. It's extremely simple, it's HD, and it does not lag at all. And it's, it's so smooth, you can actually use your camera if you want to. So let me just uh, take a good photo, that photo right there, and I can, if I wanna zoom in, there you go. It's, it's extremely smooth and it's awesome. So yeah, it's pretty simple, it's completely free. You don't have to do much, it just takes one click, literally one click and you are screen mirroring your iPhone to your TV. It's really that simple. So I'm Riz and let's just dive right into the tutorial. Hey, what is up everybody? I'm Riz and welcome to another awesome video. All right, so as I said before, you don't have to download anything on your iPhone. And in this case, you don't have to worry about what iPhone you are using. It doesn't really matter what iPhone you have. Trust me on this. It's completely free. It's really simple. And all you have to do is just follow my steps and it's gonna be awesome. <laughs> All right, so the first thing you wanna do on your iPhone, on any iPhone, is basically head over to your settings page. Inside the settings, go to your Wi-Fi settings and make sure your iPhone is connected to your home Wi-Fi. By the way, if you don't have home Wi-Fi, you could always, always use your mobile data if you want to. In this case, I don't have mobile data, so I really cannot do that, but if you want to use the mobile data, you, can, you have to turn on the mobile hotspot, but be careful with the mobile hotspot depending on where you live, depending on what data plan you have this might cost you credit so just be careful with the mobile data it might cost you credit so in this case i'll just use my home wi-fi because that's homey it's free you don't have to worry about credits or anything like that so just use your home wi-fi it's highly recommended by the way i have tons of more videos on this channel so be sure to subscribe and if you have any questions do let me know in the comment section below okay so once your phone once your iphone any iphone by the way once your iphone is connected to your home once your, once your iPhone is connected to your home Wi-Fi, that's pretty much all you have to do. Now we have to do the exact same thing onto your TV and let's do this. All right, so welcome to your TV. The instructions are pretty, pretty simple. In this case, I'm using my Roku Express TV. By the way, if you don't have Roku Express, if you wanna buy one, links will be in the description box below, so be sure to check it. Also, if you don't have a smart TV or if you don't have a Roku Express TV, I will be linking some other videos that I've done on this channel for you in case you don't have a smart TV like I do. So in this case, I've got a Roku Express TV. The first thing you wanna do, and by the way, it doesn't matter if you have a Roku Express TV or some other TV, as long as it's smart TV, it's gonna work out. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is head over to your settings. Now inside the settings, head over to your network settings. And if you have never done this before, click on setup connection, or if you have done this before, click on check connection. That way it will automatically check up your connection if it's ready to go or if it needs to be refreshed or something like that. So in this case, I'm just gonna go into setup connection, click on wireless, and I'm just gonna click and select my home Wi-Fi, And I've entered the password, click connect, and it's gonna connect. So just give a couple seconds and um, bam, we are ready. As you can see, I am connected on my right side. So that's pretty much all you have to do. Now you have two options from here on this point. If you have a really good smart TV, you really don't have to use this step. But if you go into, do, and if you go deep into your settings, you're gonna find something called Apple, AirPlay, and HomeKit. Now, this is not necessary, by the way, if you have a smart TV. In this case, even I don't need to open it up, but I'm just gonna do it for the sake of this video. So just click on Apple, uh, AirPlay, and HomeKit. Wait a couple seconds. It's ba basically getting ready, basically getting the TV ready to be mirrored to an iPhone. So this will be the screen that you're gonna show. This will be the screen that you will see. And if you if you see something else, don't worry about it. If it's if you're doing this, if you're doing this for the first time, it might show you something different. So it might ask you for a code or something. As you can see, it says require code for the first time only. All right, so that's pretty much it. All you have to do on this screen. All right, so now let's take out the iPhone. As you can see, really simple head over to your control center. And by the way, the iPhone, the iPhone and my TV are both on the same same network, okay? So that is really, really important, okay? Now what you wanna do is basically, hold up. Now what you wanna do is basically head over to your control center. Now inside the control center, head over to your, uh, head over to your screen mirroring icon right there. And you're gonna see this, and you're gonna see the Roku Express 4K as you can see. So just click on it and it's gonna ask you for the code for the first time. As you can see, I'm doing this for the first time as well. So let's see what the code is. 
So the code is uh, 6695. So I have to, all right, so I have to put the code in 66, it's 95. Apologies about my dog, by the way. Click OK and bam, we are connected. Pretty awesome, right? And it's really smooth, but you can see it's really extremely HD as well. I mean, I don't, ha I don't see any lag at the moment. Let me just take on a, let me open up a camera. Let's take a photo. Let's open up a photo right there. And let's zoom in the photo, see? Oh my God, it looks extremely clean. I mean, it's super, super good. It, it's gonna, it, it can go full screen as well. It's really awesome. So in this case, you can, you have tons of options, honestly. You can, you can listen to music if you want to. You can, uh, you can listen to, you can watch YouTube if you want to. By the way, you can even enjoy your Instagram as well. So let me just go into my profile and there you go. You can, you can watch videos. By the way, the audio will be coming from your uh, TV. And if you want to change that, hold on, I'll teach you something. Hold on. So let's say if you're watching something, the audio is coming from my TV. So if I want to change that, just go into your control center. Inside the control center, as you can see, it's connected to your TV. So just click on that and click on that TV icon. And you can see, if you wanna switch the audio from your TV to your iPhone, just click on the iPhone, the audio will come from your iPhone. Or if you want the TV, if you want the audio from the TV, so just click on the Roku Express and it will skip the audio from your iPhone. So in this case, really simple, really handy, and you can do tons with this. You have, you have tons, you basically have tons of options to do this. You can you can watch videos if you want to. You can, you have basically tons of great options. In this case, you can even play games if you want to. So let me just open up a Clash of Clans and show you how good or how fast or how snappy it actually is. So hold on, let me, um, looks like I've been raided, I think so. I mean, it's really simple, look at this, wait. It's so smooth. I mean, you, you have, you can even play. I mean, I usually do this, by the way. Not gonna lie, I love playing it on a bigger screen. You can see small stuff, you can see walls and everything. It's really good. So that's pretty much it for the video, Umbris. And if you enjoy the video, leave a like. If you have any questions, do comment down below. And if you're not subscribed, be sure to subscribe. And the way you stop this is basically if you have a dynamic island like I do, just click on that to ask for you to start mirroring or you could just, uh, or you could just go to your control center, click on the screen mirroring tab and click on stop mirroring and it's gonna stop it for you. Pretty simple, pretty awesome. I hope you enjoy the video. That's it for the video. I'm Riz and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.